There's a scene fairly early on in Final Fantasy X that very few people can ever hope to comprehend. It's a scene that creates fury because it's just so complicated, so near unfathomable, leading people to outright ridicule and discard the whole game. Let's take a look at the scene, and let's see if you can understand what's going on. <laughs> this is weird! Next, try laughing out loud. What? Come on, show me! <laughs> so, did you see that? It was so subtle. Let's see if we can understand it one more time. Next, try laughing out loud. What? Come on, show me! Okay, hold on, I'm still confused. How about a third time? Next, try laughing out loud. What? Come on, show me! Okay, you know what? F*** this. This is not complicated at all. Let's redo that intro, shall we? There's something that's been pissing me off for as long as I can remember. Something that's been really grinding my gears that people just don't seem to understand even though it's the most obvious thing in the world. The laughing scene between Tidus and Yuna in Final Fantasy X. Now you've probably seen references to this scene almost wherever Final Fantasy X is mentioned. It's become a meme, although a fairly old one by now, and the voice actors themselves have gotten hate for allegedly sounding fake and being bad actors. Even big YouTubers, whom I for the record otherwise love and admire, get this scene completely wrong. So what is happening in this scene? And how can we really know? That's what I'll explain in this video, and I hope you'll leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Final Fantasy X, and I won't mince words here, is my favorite Final Fantasy game of all time. To put it very briefly, the game takes place in a beautiful but often depressing world where death is everywhere, where people live in fear of a repeating doomsday calamity, yet one where hope lives on due to a specific type of people called summoners. Now, summoners are especially powerful and sacred magic wielders tasked with defeating this doomsday beast called Sin and they go on so-called pilgrimage journeys in order to do so. Yuna, who plays an important role in our infamous scene, is such a summoner, who is embarked on this treacherous, dangerous and long journey. But our main character, Tidus, is a person who's literally traveled through time against his will, who's not at all used to the dangers or depravity of this world called Spira. He's very different from the rest of our main cast, in that he's not only young, but also distressed and confused by the massive change he's gone through in only a matter of days. And, for anyone who's not played up until this point in the game, you might want to leave now if you're afraid of early game spoilers. So here it comes. Right before the laughing scene, Tidus found out that the biggest and evilest monster in the world is in fact his very own father. And if that's not enough, the awesome and very based and water-pilled Blitzball tournament was interrupted by an enormous attack by Sin, which both Tidus and you now know is indeed his father. Lastly, this information was revealed to him by the only person he truly knows in this world, a man called Auron, who knew his father. Coming into the laughing scene then, Tidus' world has been turned upside down not just once, but at least two times. He doesn't know what to do or what to think, and in this moment, Yuna approaches him in order to cheer him up, showing him a little whistling trick Tidus tried to teach her earlier, as seen here. Okay, now let's rewatch the laughing scene again, and see if you might understand it now. Just so you're aware, this scene lasts about 4 minutes, so if you don't want to watch it all, you might want to skip ahead now. Hey, watch! <gasps> ah. Hey, you got pretty good. You sound sad. Yeah, maybe. Want to scream? Mm, I really don't think that's going to help this time. You know what? Hmm? It's embarrassing to say this myself, but summoners and their guardians are kind of like Spira's ray of light. A lot of people in Spira depend on us. I learned to practice smiling. When I'm feeling sad, you know. <laughs> I know 
It's hard. Yeah. I understand. I think. Right. Now let's see what you can do. Huh? Come on. Next, try laughing out loud. What? Come on, show me. Separated, just whistle. I'll come running. I promise. Mm. <laughs> well, let's go. What are you looking at? We were just worried you guys might have gone crazy. Sorry. Well then, all right. Now, we will go to the temple at Jose. And guardians, don't forget to smile. So, was your mind blown? Okay, now let's analyze the scene for good measure. In the beginning, Yuna shows Titus that she's practiced whistling, which is just completely adorable. Then, she asks if he's sad, because he's clearly acting it. And as we talked about before, it's clear why he is sad. Yuna then proceeds to tell Titus what she does when she's sad, in order to appear happy in front of strangers due to the pressures put on her by her position as a summoner. She tries to teach him to first smile, then laugh. And as you might know, since we're all hopefully humans here, laughing on command does not necessarily sound exactly like a natural laugh. Meaning, this is what comes out. <laughs> now, if it wasn't obvious enough that this laughter is supposed to be weird and made up, the camera literally pans over to the other party members and their perplexed looks. In this moment, you are supposed to laugh. And if that's not enough, Yuna herself asks Titus to stop in, again, a very funny way, before she herself joins in on the fun. They then have an actual laugh to show you that the previous fake laugh was indeed made to sound weird, cringe, and fake-pilled. And to top it off, we get this comment from Waka. What are you looking at? We were just worried you guys might have gone crazy. But let's top it off again, shall we? From the voice actor himself, James Arnold Taylor. What's the deal with the laugh, James? Why the awkward, bad acted laugh? Here it is, for once and for all, James Arnold Taylor telling you about the Titus laugh. It was supposed to be an awkward, goofy, dumb laugh. <laughs> <laughs> 
The laugh was on purpose, okay? It was written that way. It's supposed to be like that. He's being a, a bit of a goof there. They laugh at the end of it. He laughs a little before it. <laughs> this, this is silly, right? He knows how to laugh, okay? It's part of the relationship of, of Yuna and Titus getting together and getting to know each other. So there you have it. The infamous laughing scene is in fact the blessed laughing scene, a most holy and sacred and adorable and funny laughing scene. A scene which is so unique in the history of media that it just might be my favorite scene in the entire game, simply because it conveys so many feelings, so much background, and the depth of both of these characters all at the same time. Why or how people confuse the scene and think it's supposed to sound like a natural laughter baffles me every time, and I wonder if the people thinking this way even paid attention to the game, or just, you know, suddenly moved their eyes and ears back in the middle of this and thought, what the hell is going on here, eh? So there, my mission is complete, and I hope, if you were an unbeliever prior to this video, that you're firmly placed in the ranks of the I fecking love the laughing scene gang, and the outs. Thank you so much for watching friends, if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll laugh with you next time too. It was supposed to sound like that. Get over yourselves. Cheers.